It's not really a video game, but if it was, Cali Cops team would be winning. 150 high school students are competing against each other in the virtual world of oil and gas. Using a computer simulation, they're learning how to search for black gold. I'm really interested in environmental sciences and one of the things would be environmental consulting for oil companies, something I might go into. And to be able to do that, you have to be able to understand the oil companies and this gives a great opportunity. The competition is meant to encourage a career in oil and gas, but it comes at a time when the energy industry, along with the rest of the economy, is in flux. Instructors say that's no reason to hold back on recruiting. And if anything, I think that there will be a stronger need for these students in a few years because of the recession. Projects will be delayed, maybe not enough wells, wells will be drilled, and so when the recession comes off and we start getting into a strong growth period, you'll need these students and more. Those already in the industry say it's not the same as it was nearly 30 years ago when an oil bust led to layoffs, bankruptcies and foreclosures. I was around in the early 80s whereby we saw the downturn, we saw those massive layoffs back then. Uh, you know, possibly the industry had a fair amount of cushion at that point in time. We are m running much leaner and meaner, you know, through these decades. On top of that, Sugar says, 200 oil workers are retiring every year. She says by the time these students finish their education, the petroleum industry will still have plenty of jobs waiting for them. Chris Epps, CTV News, Calgary.